Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I have done a video like this. Today is January, no it's not. <laughs> it is February 1st and I literally said in my last video that I hoped that it wouldn't be a month until my next video. And here I am and it's a month till my next video. But a lot of things are changing which I'll catch you guys up on. So today I'm gonna do a get ready with me. It's kind of like a date night get ready with me because Tyler and I are gonna have like a date day slash night. It's almost five o'clock so by the time I'm done getting ready and all that it's gonna be nighttime um, and I also wanted to kind of challenge myself because I noticed that when we got back from Europe I never took my makeup out of my makeup bag and it made me just continue to use the same products over and over again so I think every month I want to swap out what's in my makeup bag like put things that like maybe I forgot about or things that I haven't used in a while so that I could use products that, like, I can use them really, really consistently and see how much I really like them, if I don't like them, and I can, like, at the end of the month, give you, like, a review on what I like and what I don't like. So let me know if you guys like that. It's really bright. I should actually lower the brightness just a little bit. There we go. And, oh my god, I am so pale. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So I am literally in my makeup bag right now. You can see it's packed. Like, it's busting at the seams. And I'm just going to go into what I've been using pretty much every single day. And it's going to start with the Precisely My Brow from um, Benefit. And I am not a Benefit brow person. I prefer Anastasia. But I've been using this pencil. I should zoom you in just a little bit. I've been using this pencil um, nonstop just because I'm like, I really want to give it a fair shot to see if I like the Anastasia one more, if I don't, um, and this color is the shade 4. I like the shade because it matches my eyebrows perfect. Like, my eyebrow hairs are very, very dark. They're, like, the darkest brown to black because that's how my natural hair is. So, because my hair has been on the darker side lately because I have not, like, refreshed the bottom to bring it up, I don't mind using this color. However, I'm getting my hair done this month i'm getting my hair done in a couple weeks to bring the blonde back up and just go lighter all over so i know that once i do this is going to be too dark so i've just been using it and i have been liking it i feel like i don't have to use a lot of pressure because it's such a pigmented product like i feel like i don't have to keep going over my brows over and over and over again but sometimes it does still shock me having like a brow this dark because i normally use soft brown from anastasia which is a lot lighter i actually got a comment a couple of weeks ago that really put things into perspective it was i mean i didn't find it as rude but it was just a very like bold comment and it was saying that i was complaining a lot about like how busy i was and that people get on youtube and watch youtube videos to kind of like use that as an escape and where normally i'd be like whatever screw you i really thought about that and i was like that's so true like every single video that i was doing i was talking about how I was so tired, how I'm so busy, how blah, like I was just doing saying the same thing in every single video and it's like, that's not why people come on YouTube to watch videos. So whoever it was that left that comment, I actually wrote back to her and I was like, thank you for actually writing that because it put things into perspective for me. With that being said, I'm not gonna be talking about how busy I am. I'm pretty sure at this point you guys know, but I'm actually about 98% of the way of making my business, Brendalyn and Cora, full time. I've been doing it full-time now for a few weeks and it's my new year's resolution was or I, I guess i could say my my word for the new year for 2020 was balance because i noticed that i was not giving myself a balance in my life at all and even with like my relationships with my friendships like everything was always put on the back burner because i was always busy working and between working the business working at sephora doing youtube videos which obviously i have not been that consistent on freelancing i just i've had such a hectic schedule and i worked so much in 2019 that i'm like okay i worked a lot fine but now i need to chill like i need to not do that so much to myself so i said that one of my goals was to be completely dedicated to my boutique which if you're new here hi I have an online boutique, it's called Brenda and Cora, I'll leave it down below. I am still freelancing and stuff. I'm just only doing larger weddings or like things like that just because I'm gonna be working for the business Monday through Friday. Sundays as of right now have been like my only real solid days off and those I take very serious because I go to church every single Sunday 
and I just feel like church is not, or Sunday is not a day that you need to be working. Like, I don't think anything should be open on Sundays. I feel like everybody should be off and enjoy time with their family and go to the beach and barbecue and travel and all that so that they can have a balance. Like everybody needs a freaking balance in their life. I just use the Morphe concealer, which is still my favorite concealer at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and put that concealer on my eyelids. I have not done eyeshadow on my eyes in a little bit, but when I do, sorry, my heater just kicked on. Um, when I do do it, I've been using one eyeshadow palette like super consistently and it's been the Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia. I love, love that palette. It is so freaking good. I'm going to do something really, really simple because like I said, I have not been doing a lot of eyeshadow lately. So this is what the Jackie Ina palette looks like. It's beautiful. The colors in here are Stunning. This color right here, well really these two right here have been like my go-to's, Zam and Soleil. And the colors Ginger, Edges, and Credit, which is like the neutrals. Oh my god, I love them. I've also used Duala's, which is that one here. It's just a beautiful palette. So I'm just going to go into some brushes and get a really simple eye look going. I'm going to go into Ginger, which is this like orangey color right here. And using a fluffy brush, this is a Morphe brush. And I'm just throwing, it's like an orangey caramel brown. And I just love it because since she's darker skin, like obviously she's deep skin tone, she find or found colors that work and show up on skin tones that aren't super light. Like there's a lot of palettes that colors will not show up. Like they just, they won't, or they'll look really ashy. But because her skin tone is so rich and so deep, all of these colors just look amazing. Like. They're super pretty. Of course, Anastasia shadows, they blend amazing. Yeah, so as far as updates, that I'm going to be going um, full time with my business. It's a very scary decision, but I am so confident in us. Like me and Brendan work so hard that I'm super confident that we're going to make it work and we're going to grow. And we did. We had such an amazing year last year. Thanks to obviously all the customers. So if you were someone that bought anything from us last year, you are part of the reason that we had such an amazing year. So we're obviously trying to double that and grow it even bigger. Oh, I'm using the color Credit, which is this dark like chocolate brown, and I'm mixing it a little bit with the color Edges with this tiny little brush of Morphe M562. It's really, really little, so it helps you like get all up in there. We're also um, going to start doing more videos on YouTube, so I have a feeling at some point we're going to have to hire an editor to edit all of our videos because it's something that takes such a long time like editing videos i was just editing an igtv for us and it took me three hours for a 15 minute video like it takes such a long time sometimes so i'm just like we're probably gonna have to look into that at some point because i don't know it's just it takes a long time so i think i'm actually gonna leave my eyes just like this and i'm gonna go into liner i'm using my sephora liner like always this is no surprise Another little update, which I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for my lip collab to come out with um, Dame Boss, which is this local brand. Um, me and her are collabing to do a lip kit, and it's two lip kits, lip liner, liquid lipstick, and lip gloss. And I'm going to put a little bit of primerizer on because my skin is so dry. This is a Smashbox primerizer, my favorite primer. So we've been in the works. We've pretty much got it almost down. So we just have to do the shoot, like we have to do the photo shoot for the product, for the campaign, and then it'll be arriving. And I'm so excited for it. I know you guys are gonna love it. I was actually gonna use it today, but I'm like, what's the point if I can't even show them? Like I have to wait till they actually launch. That's coming really, really soon. I know I get so many questions on when they're launching and where are they and what's the release date. and. We don't have an exact date yet, but I promise it's coming. So now I'm gonna go in with my lashes and I'm gonna use the this brand right here. It's, I don't even know how to pronounce it. A-M-B-U-T-L. This is a like an Instagram brand. And this girl that I know, Amanda, her Instagram is Amandizzle. Um, she's a makeup artist. She's so talented. Like she, every video she ever posts, every picture of her client she posts, I'm like, bro, her work is what my goal is like she's so talented and she actually collabed and made these lashes so let me please oh, so i bought them because i know how excited 
she must be and I know how big of a deal it is for people to create something and see the support behind it like I know so I was like I'm definitely gonna buy some and they're beautiful they're called hey girl okay I'm gonna go ahead and put on um, my lash glue let these lashes dry stick them on and then we'll go on to doing the complexion so the lashes are on and you can see they are like va va boom glam I'm gonna probably still mess with them just to make sure that the glue is dry and like my edges are on there my edges the corners are like stuck and down I'm gonna go into this foundation and this foundation surprised me so much I still can't even believe I barely have any left like I'm almost completely out of this and it takes me I usually don't run through foundations and it, if I do it takes me a really long time because I have so much makeup but this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. I wear the shade 51 WY. I got this foundation in my gratis from Sephora and when I got it I was like oh whatever I threw it into my drawer and I was like another foundation to try. And then I finally tried it and I was like wow like I get so many compliments every single time I wear it like it never fails. I always get compliments. It blends into my skin perfectly like really really perfect and I'm pretty pale right now compared to how you guys know I usually get I usually get really really tan in the summertime so it's perfect that I ended up um, running through this foundation during the colder months because my skin tone is pretty consistently light foundation matches me like perfect right here it's a little bit light on my forehead but once I put bronzer on you can't you can't tell a difference but the foundation is extremely long wearing it lasts all day on my skin it's like a natural matte so it is matte but it's not super super heavy or super dry or super cakey or anything like that because i do have dry skin so even though i like matte foundations it can't be anything that's like drying you'll see as i start to i look crazy right now but once i start to put like everything on it's just so good and then i'm gonna go in with my concealer this is the morphe concealer in the shade c 2.65 and I'm just gonna put this under here. This has been my consistent foundation for the last few months. I don't even remember the last, or not foundation, concealer. I don't even remember the last concealer that I used before this um, because I love this one. Oh, the Jeffree Star one. And I still like that one a lot, but I, for the price, I like this one more. Putting this all over and I'm gonna, and it blends really easily into every foundation that I wear. It doesn't matter what foundation, it always looks good and it's this color that I have is like super nice and brightening underneath my eyes it is full coverage like you can tell but it is not as like I know everybody compares like a full coverage concealer to shape tape and it's probably because that's like the most full coverage you can get it is not as matte as that one it is still matte but not like that concealer is really matte and it's full coverage but not as full coverage it's a little bit lighter but I still do consider it full coverage and I take my Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to set my under eyes and something new that I've been doing actually is setting my entire face with a Laura Mercier which is crazy I do not normally do that because my skin is pretty dry but the reason that I've been doing it is because my face powder the um, Sephora micro smooth Baked face powder is a little bit dark on me right now and I do have all the colors but they're in my kit and I don't use the makeup for my kit on myself so I need to get the lighter shade so that I can use it for times like this where my skin is a little bit lighter. Now I'm going to take my Sephora Micro Smooth Baked Face Powder and this is in the shade number 35 and that's exactly why I set my face with this first um, because this is a little bit more tan than what I am right now. It matches me perfectly in the summer. Like this is my go-to face powder in this color. But now since I haven't been in the sun in a while, it's been making my face a little bit darker than the rest of my body. But once I put it right over the Laura Mercier, it like, I don't know. I'm sure you can tell as I'm putting it on. It like cancels that like super light shade out. Still love that powder, best powder ever. Don't at me. I'm gonna use the Taylor Thomas and Dame Boss Pro Line Sculpt, Create, and Define palette. And this is actually the brand that I'm collabing with for the lip product. She sent me this to try out and I've been loving it. This is what it looks like here. So it has pretty much everything. It has 
your bronzer. It has multiple colors of blushes, and I like all of these blushes. And then it has a highlighter, which I was really nervous about, and it looks perfect. So I'm just going to take the bronze color, and I'm using the Morphe M406, and just going to bronze my face with it. It has such good pigmentation, blends really well. Um, the undertone is perfect for me anyway. I like more of a warm bronzer because cool tones do not work well with my skin tone. They tend to look really muddy and just like gray on me, but this looks perfect. I love it so much. She did a really good job on this palette. And I was not expecting, like when she sent me this, when I opened the box, she was just supposed to be sending me, I bought a pair of lashes from her actually, and I use her lashes all the time. Um, I bought a pair of lashes and she sent me the samples of our lip collab with this palette and another palette and I automatically gravitated towards this one because I love blush palettes and bronzers. Oh, that just gave my skin so much light. And I'm actually going to use the same palette and I'm going to go into, I'm going to try this one. It's like more pinky, it's like a mauve color. And just put that on my cheeks. These have a lot of pigmentation so you don't even need a lot. And I'm just going to bounce right over them which is I mean, that's what I do with anything that I use. And I always like to set my face before I put on my highlighter. So I'm going to take this and just set my face. Help all the powders not look like powder. Especially if you're dry, that's a great way to make your face not look powdery. Even if you're not dry. No one wants to look like they have a whole bunch of powder on their face. And then I just like to bounce it in because I feel like it helps fuse everything to your skin. And I'm actually, oh, there's like two different things that I want to use. I'm gonna use this because I have been obsessed with this. So I bought this like three weeks ago from Sephora and they just came out. They're from Sephora Collection and Sephora Collection is probably the most slept on brand because people think that because it's Sephora Collection it's not good. And let me tell you, some of the best products that I've used, my powder, my eyeliner, like their blushes are phenomenal. A lot of things come from Sephora Collection. So they came out with these little trios and there's different colors of them. And these are the trio face palettes and this is in the color Radiate. And when I saw this, and I, so there's two highlighters. This one is more of like a soft, like a really soft highlight. This one is like a blinding highlight. And then there's a blush. Blush color, perfect. I love it. Then I touched this and I was blown away. Like they are so metallic, but so smooth. Like do you, it, it is like, they're so good. You're about to see, you're about to see because they're really good. So I'm first going to take the center shade. And this is more of like a soft, like everyday highlight. And even still, like it packs a punch. And I'm just gonna, you see like it just looks more like soft, like subtle. I'm gonna put that all over my cheeks, my nose, my chin. So you see like it gives like a cute little glow. I'm gonna take this small brush and I'm gonna dip literally like, that's it. Ooh, it's gonna be really good. Like, oh. And I think this was $14. I think this was 14 bucks. And the shine that it gives your face, like if I take this and just like, oh, it's such a good product. Like this is definitely going in my favorite video. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and put it in my tear duct or my inner corner, whatever you wanna call this. And I'm also gonna set my face again. I actually got this for Christmas. It's the KKW beauty lip liner in nude 2 and i got the lipstick in nude 2 as well such an amazing combination this is literally like my favorite type of nude i've been using the one that i collabed with for a while um but since i can't show that I might as well use this one the perfect brown uh, and then i'm gonna take the lipstick it's a lighter nude but i love it this is what it looks like Everybody that knows me knows that this is like one of my favorite glosses ever and I've been picking it up again. That is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. I love the way my makeup turned out because I've been using all these products and I love them all so much. I'll leave everything that I use linked down below and I'll see you guys in the next one.